What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I have some amazing news. Uh, the firmware for watchOS 8.7.1 has officially been released today, Sunday, the 20th of November. Um, and basically, it's for... Um, so if you've got um, a Magic AWRT and you have a license with um, Magic Clock and also the program alongside Magic Clock made by Jan Fabel and Shen Zeo, which is M4 IPSW tools, okay? This is a program you want now. If, if, for example, if you've got an iBus or something, yeah, that's not a problem. You can still do it through Finder or iTunes, and I'll get to that bit in a bit, right? So, obviously, first thing you want to do, if, if you've got access to this program, if you have a license to it, obviously, first thing you want to do, head over to your web browser, and go on to just type in so magic awrt as mine's already at the top as you can see there magic awrt select software and scroll down yeah I'll make it bigger so you can see the page more All right This is the program, M4 IPSW Tools, yeah? This is the program. If you've got this program, you can do it in this method. But if you don't, and you're using like an iBus or something, then that's fine. You can do it in a different method. But this is basically for the fix for uh, watchOS 8.7.1. Because if you've noticed in my previous video, I've got um, a basic fix. Uh, a fix for the where it gets to the preparing bar and the preparing bar is empty and it won't go it won't go up at all i have a fix for that and it's, it's on a two minute video if you want to check that out but this one is more for you know basically you you try to update it and a box will come up and it'll just either say try again you know or start over or whatever and you've got no choice because you, you know you keep saying try again try again the box just keeps popping up you know been waiting for this firmware for a while yes as watch os 8.7.1 reality is it only covers watch series 3 ce uh, cellular and series 3 gps now i'm doing it on a series 3 cellular today i mean you could be doing it on gps or cellular it doesn't matter i mean all the previous watches as you can tell you know they only go up to like watch os like 6.3 or something like that like the the series 2 series 0 series 1 you know really older operating systems and obviously the series 4 and above goes from watch os 9 and and upwards basically so, you know, if there's any um, firmware problems you're getting with watchOS 9, then the downloads are also available for here, available on here for you too. So mine's a Series 3 cellular. It's a 38 millimeter casing. So yeah, mine comes, uh, my identifier on mine is watch 3.1. So it's a cellular version and it's a 38 millimeter. So I'm going to download this now. It's going into the downloads folder. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to extract it to my desktop and we'll continue from there. Okay, so the download's been done. And I am basically going to put the watch on the magic apple watch repair tool
in the correct seat that aligns with it, which is top left. So in grabbing the download, drag it to your desktop. I'm gonna close off here now. So now that's on your, now that's docked. Basically what you wanna do is put it into DFU mode, okay? Sorry, first thing, open M4 IPSW tools up. Open this up and select folder. And as you can see, there it is. It's on my desktop, it's available. Select it, open. And now it's ready. What you wanna do is put your watch in DFU mode, okay? So holding down the power button and the crown at the same time. When the screen goes dark, basically one, two, three, four. Let go of the power button, keep hold of the crown button. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, Apple Watch Series 3 is in DFU mode. So the watch is in DFU and let's start the process. Select this launch pad rocket symbol here and erase flash selected. So it'll go up in percentage and then it will start performing the restore on your watch and it will fix it. It'll fix the IPSW firmware for 8.7.1 which I know a lot of you have been waiting for. I've been waiting quite a while. Um, and, you know, I can't, you know, thank Jan for Bell enough and Shen Zeo for, for bringing it where it belongs, from the shadows to the light. And as you can clearly, clearly see, it's working because by now, it would say that there's no blobs available by now. It would have already said that. So it's extracting and it's doing its thing. And it is basically, it is working perfectly. Um, as you can see on my AWRT, my Apple Watch is booted up. So it'll perform a circle and basically do the restore. And yeah, basically that's, that's basically the fix for 8.7.1. You know, I know a lot of people have had a, a lot of problems with it. And they, like I said, there are, um, you know, a lot of, it's like, if you watch one of my previous videos, it's, it's only two minutes long. And like, it fixes the basic issue where the, it gets as far as the preparing bar and it won't go up. Now there's, um, you know, there's a simple fix for that. And I've got that on a previous video. And yeah, it's, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And like I said, obviously, if you, if, you don't, if you don't have access to this program, if you haven't got a license for it, then there is another program as well you can do this on. That's right, there is. He is a massive iCloud developer. Uh, just go on the website, myicloud.info, okay? I'll show it to you very shortly. So whilst this is doing the restore, once it's finished, I'll get back right with you. And done. Firmware is updated and completed. So just to show you that it works, let's just put in my language and region. Obviously I'm in the UK, so I gotta go quite far down.
Now what's going to happen? Obviously, it's not going to ask for an update. It's a straightforward setup. And that is the fix for it. For 8.7.1. So go on the watch app. Start pairing. Set up for myself. Set up his new Apple Watch, continue. So yeah, if you've basically bought a watch and you've, you know, you've been trying to pair it to your phone, but you can't because, you know, the 8.7.1 update hasn't been available. Well it, well, it is available officially from today. The SHSH blobs are officially available here on Jan Fabel and Chen Zhou's website. They're also available for download on Windows or Finder, and I'll show you how. See? So skip this step. And basically I'll set this up later, but as you can see, it's fully working. But it wasn't before. Because the thumbnail of this video is exactly what the watch looked like and wouldn't go no further than that. Now, here's the thing. So say, for example, okay, say you don't have, uh, if you don't have M4 IPSW tools or, you know, if you don't have the license for that or Magic Clock, right? What you want to do, head over to your browser and type in, my iCloud, my iCloud info, my iCloud dot info. This guy is a big, big, I mean big iCloud developer. So this is his website here. I'll blow it up a bit. And if you want the firmware, so like if you're using an iBus or whatever, yeah. And like I said, you don't have access to any of them. What you need to do is, on this website here, come down to by here, okay? By here where it is Telegram uh, channel is. Be sure to join. I've joined this channel. <laughs> and I can tell you now, he's got thousands of subscribers. So basically, it's, uh, it's on, see, there we go. There they all are there. There's the IPSWs for you to download it through um, Finder or iTunes. So, uh, see, watch your OS update 8.7.1 and whichever one you want to do, you can just basically select it. So my, my uh, identifier is 3.1. So, for example, if I wanted to download it, I would simply click on this and then select allow and it would basically go straight into the downloads folder and I would do exactly the same thing I done just now. I would do the exact same thing, drag it to the desktop, connect it to my Apple Watch repair tool and restore it through Finder or iTunes. And yeah, that's basically it. That is the fix for 8.7.1. It's officially released. Big shout out to Jan for Belland and Shen Zeo and a massive shout out to this guy as well, myicloud.info and all of your colleagues and partners in making this happen. Thank you. It means a lot to us, the people. Keep up the good work, lads. Keep up the good work. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.